Welcome to Lighthouse Worship. My name is Hugo. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to play the song Reason I Sing by Phil Wickham. We're going to be playing in the key of G. So let's get started. Yeah. So you're going to want to get your guitar, play, um, you're going to be playing G, uh, D, E minor, D, C. So for the finger style, you're going to be playing the top string with your index finger, you're going to play the third string and then your middle finger, you're going to be playing the second to last string. So. So you want to practice the So top So the top the top string you're going to be keeping that uh that rhythm right with the bass note So you probably want to break that down into a So you want to do uh, the top string you do it twice and then you do the your your middle finger on the second to last string, right? And then you're going to be going uh, twice again on the thumb. You're going to be plucking the top string twice your middle finger right then you're gonna pluck the top string once sorry you're gonna plug the top string once and then you're gonna do your uh, middle finger uh, your index finger right and then you just repeat that So you want to practice that um, that plucking style, right? The finger style. Once you feel comfortable with that, you can go ahead and start switching your chords. Uh, it's going to be G, right? You're, then you're going to play a D, and then you're going to be playing E minor, D, and then C. And you're going to do that for or you're going to do that twice, okay? Um, that's the little intro. Um, if you want to play it simpler, if you don't want to, if you don't want to have to do the finger style, you could just do single strumming. Right. So that's if you're not comfortable with finger picking, you could just do single strumming. And then you're going to start in your verse, right? So the same thing, if you're, not com if you're not comfortable, you can swap out the finger style. Uh, but I will be playing the finger style. So, you brought me from darkness, G, and clothed me. So your E minor, and 
to your D in garments of praise. So that's your C right there. And then you're going to go uh, G. Jesus forever. So you're going to go to your D, right? So overall, it's G, E minor, D, C. And then you're going to go G, D. And then it repeats. So, you brought me from darkness, that's your G. Clothe me in garments of grace. Jesus forever, my song will be you. And then back to your G. Living in freedom, you've taken my burdens away. Jesus forever, my song will be you, only for you, only for you. So on that last U, you're going to go to the D, right? So, for the cross that you bore and the death that you paid for the victory. into the verse 2 right so for the chorus it's gonna be G for the cross that you bore to your D and the debt that you paid for the victory you won over E minor death and to the C the grave this is the reason so grave, and then you're gonna go to your D. This is the reason I sing. So back to the G, and it repeats. So for the strumming pattern is down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Right. So that's the strumming pattern. So for the chorus, you'll, you'll start in that strumming pattern. Um, in the intro, you'll do the finger style. If you think that's easier for you, you can do this, the strumming pattern or the finger style. So good, so good, you're so good to me, and forever I'll sing, you're so good to me, you're so good, you're so good, you're so good to me. And then it goes back to chorus, right? So, for that part, you start off kind of like the intro. You start off with a G, with the finger style, right? And then you go to your D. You play G, D, and then you go to your C. 
And that's whenever he starts, right? So good. C, so good to your D. You're so good to me. So right there in that last, uh, you're so good to me, it goes G to your D to your C. So it goes pretty quickly. So it goes, uh, stays on the C. You're so good to your D. You're so good to your G. You're so D to the C, right? And then it stays on the C. You're so, you're so good to the D, so good, G, D, C. And it repeats that over and over, right? After the chorus, you have this little outro. So you start off with the little, whoa. So that's pretty much the song. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave a like, please subscribe. It really helps the channel out. I really appreciate you guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Jesus the reason I see.